welcome to this review of five tactics that win chess games. The tactics that I will be covering today are the pin, discovered attack, fork, skewer, and clearance sacrifice. And if you stick around towards the end, I'll also cover a sixth tactic that wins chess games. All right, let's begin. This game starts with e4, e6, the French defense, d4, d5, and this pawn's being attacked, so white defends. And then the first tactic is the pin. So here this bishop has moved out, pinning this knight to the king, so it cannot move. And it's always good to keep an eye out for the tactic of the pin, because even if the piece is protected by this pawn, it can place additional pressure on this pawn, which is protected by the knight. So now this pawn could capture white's e4 pawn and the knight would not be able to recapture because it's pinned to the king. And so if we continue on, the bishop protects the pawn. Now the knight puts more pressure on this pawn, which is was protected by this knight that is now pinned. So that is one of the issues with the pin you can pin a piece and then increase the pressure on whatever that pin piece was protecting. And so now white pins the f6 knight to the queen. And so pawn takes pawn, bishop takes, and if we look at this pawn move back here, we also have the second tactic that wins chess games, a discovered attack. Now here, this pawn captures, and now there's a discovered attack on this pawn, which is unprotected. Although in this variation, the bishop just captures, and now this pawn is protected. But it is a good idea to always keep an eye out for discovered attacks, so you're not caught by surprise and more pressure is placed in the center attacking the knight protects the central pawn capture capture and now we have a possible fork even though this queen is not attacking this knight. It is assisting in the attack, and it is also attacking this bishop. So it's not precisely a fork, which is usually one piece attacking two other pieces, but it does assist in this attack on this knight, and it attacks this bishop. And so white captures the knight, black captures, and this is also a fork. The bishop forks the king and this pawn, although the pawn can capture here. Pawn capture, queen captures, and now we have another fork. The queen is forking the king and the rook. So that's another tactic to watch out for. The fork can do a lot of damage. It's a valuable tactic that you can use and you also must guard against. And so here, white has the option of retreating the king and leaving the queen to defend this rook. But here, the queen moves up to block this attack on the king. And here, black should probably just capture this queen after the queen trade. He will be able to capture this bishop, and he'll be up a pawn in this endgame. But here black gets greedy. And this is the bonus tactic that wins chess games. The sixth tactic is a decoy. And so here white decoys this queen by offering this rook. And 
once the queen captures, we have another tactic, the skewer. So here, the queen attacks the king, and the king must move, and this rook is skewered behind the king. And so king move, capture. So here black has gotten very greedy, capturing both rooks and neglecting his defense. And here we have another tactic, the clearance sacrifice. So here white will capture on e6 with his knight, sacrificing this knight. But if the knight is captured, there's a checkmate up this d file with the queen to d8. And so the only way for this to be stopped is either a queen move delaying this attack or knight to d7 blocking the attack. And if instead black would have tried to capture one or the other of these uh, knight and bishop, then it still would have been a mate up here. And so next, the queen moves in and tries for mate here on the e7 square. And to avoid that capture of this bishop, but it's too late for black, the, the attack continues. Check. And here we have another fork in this position king move, but instead of capturing this rook, the knight retreats, and from here it can help in the attack of the c7 and e7 squares. And so if black tries to move rook to e8, defending against this attack, then there would be a check made on c7. And so here, there's nothing that black can do. And in review, the five tactics and the one bonus tactic that win chess games are the pin, the discovered attack, the fork, the skewer, the clearance sacrifice, and the decoy. Please feel free to review this game again and... Let me know what you think. Leave comments. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day.